yes, I want to be able to track everything on the website, but I want to be able to track um, each Google ad um, via a different phone number. Got you. Okay. Um, so we can go ahead and set up the tracking so that um, we can have it, have your numbers for your website. Go to, yeah, go to your Google Analytics account really quick. I do want to get an idea. We have like an algorithm in place to know how many numbers you would need in your keyword pool for your page. Um, and we base it like by the number of visitors that's on your page, um, on your website in a given hour during like a peak period. Yeah, so okay. it looks like the peak for us is going to be around 10 mm -hmm. users at most. Okay. So in, case, so in that case, yeah, we usually, any number under 50, we divide it by four. So okay. in this case, um, the, the least amount of numbers that you can have in your keyword pool is four. So we could just set up four for your keyword pool. Okay. So if you go back to call rail, um, create number, I'll use it online on my website calls, keywords, and web sessions. And then you could just name your, if you want website traffic, that's what most of our customers name it. And then if you wanna change that to four, and then that's gonna be like the main business line that you're gonna have these numbers forwarded to. Perfect, okay. And now you just tracking options. And so of course, all visitors, um, yeah. And then now you can choose if you want the numbers to be local to the 949 number, um, or toll-free number or a number in a specific area code. Right now, the seven, what it's giving you is like a number, I guess, that's local to the nine four. you're like your personal number, the 949 number. So you can choose if you want your numbers in your keyword pool to start off with 714 or if you want a toll-free number or 949, of course, or if you want a toll-free number, you could choose for them to appear as toll-free numbers. Or if you want to choose numbers in with a different area code, you would choose that last option and it will you can choose which area code you want the numbers to start off with. Yeah, usually when you want to change the area codes, it's because you're like targeting different, you know, reaching out to people in different areas. But in this case, since it's like your website, I think if you keep it how similar to how it was, it won't like be a big difference. Um, so yeah, whisper message, that's just a short message that plays before the call. The caller, of course, does not hear it. It just lets you know where the call is coming from. So if you wanted that, you could input call from website traffic. If you want the call to be recorded, you would activate that as well. And that's okay. the tracking number. And so now we can set up your call flow as well. Click on set up call flow. Create call flow. All right, when they call in, just like their route, how you want the call to flow, you could choose pretty much how you want that. So if you want like a greeting, a dial and voicemail or a greeting in a menu step, then it dials or greeting and sign you call is when multiple lines ring at once and whoever answers first can get it. So if you want to choose that second one. Greeting dial voicemail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And configure call flow at the bottom. Yeah. And if you want, you can change this call flow. If you're going to have like different call flows for different campaigns, if you want to name this call flow to like website traffic call flow so you can know which call flow it is, you can change that at the top where it says greeting, dial, and voicemail. Okay. Perfect. And then, of course, you want to turn on record so that the calls are being recorded. And the greeting, you can change what's in that text box um, for it to say whatever you want, or you can upload a recording saying something. Okay. Um, and you can always edit it and come back, like come back and edit it if you ever wanted to make changes. And so the DAO, that main business line that you put in first, is that going to be the same line you want it to be forwarded to for yeah, him to everything, answer? Yeah, everything should go to that phone number for now. Perfect. So you can put that number in there. Perfect. And then um, click on prevent voicemail automated systems. 
just so that your you guys' own voicemail won't be connected to that. And if you scroll down, that that's going to be like the voicemail step after if he doesn't get a chance to answer. Of course, same thing. You can change what's in the text box there and or up, upload a recording if you want it. All right, perfect. So now you can go ahead and save. And then where it says all numbers on the left-hand side under calls and texts. Mm -hmm. um, so the down arrow key under for it calls to by the website traffic number, click on that and then attach the call flow to that number. Perfect. Um, and now we can, if you go to settings, that's where all the integrations are. So Google Ads, of course, we gotta finish setting that up. You would just follow the, follow the steps on how to install the JavaScript um, on the website. Yeah, but if you go back to all integrations, um, go to Google Ads, choose on select an account. And then do you just want to, I guess, however you want your calls, you could choose that. And then after you selected the appropriate um, steps for that, you would just activate it. So now Google Ads has been set up. Okay, okay. cool. And same thing if you want to integrate with Google Analytics. Hmm. I wonder if he just wants this now, I guess. Cool. Perfect. Great. Um, as far as your notifications, um, on the left hand side where it's calls and text alerts, if you go to that, that's where ha here on this area you can set up your notifications. So if you go to add notification, um is it just so Peter is the only is going to be the person that's going to be answering the calls and receiving the the notifications and everything? Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, as of right now, it's showing that he'll be notified on all tracking numbers, all types of calls. Right now, it's set on a, a email notification. You can choose desktop and or mobile app notification as well, and um, he can be alerted if he ever gets any text messages. And then that's how you create your alert. Should I check this? Yeah, I mean, if you want to be alerted on all types of information that he gets. And great, okay. now your alerts are set up. Um, and so, of course, under, and you guys won't be like doing any outbound calls or anything, right? No. No, okay. So, of course, under your activity tab is where you'll be able to see all of your calls um, and listen to the recording of the calls as well. Um, under PM on the left hand side, where's Peter Peter um, Montoya? The initials at the top. My account. So that if you go to account settings, that's just where you can like. Well, I'm pretty. Sure, I'm sure you're familiar with it, but um, that's just where you can like access everything within the account. Um, and then users, if you guys ever wanted to add any additional users. You can do so on the left hand side there as well. The tracking now, what what we've set up is we've got a website traffic that has four numbers uh -huh. that will track anyone that visits our website. And those four numbers will alternate based upon how many visitors they're getting. So that like not all 10 visitors will have a separate number, but like every two or three visitors like will have their own number. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh huh. So every time okay. a visitor comes to your site, they'll see a number. Like they'll essentially see like their own tracking number. Um, and that tracking number, once they call it, you'll be able to see like everything, their full journey, and like to discover that you know that the true source of where it came from. Um, after they called. And so it will tell me after they call if it was like a keyword or if they used Facebook or whatever or okay. Yes. Created a Google search ad 
that's a call only ad. There is no landing page or you're not driving anyone to any to any website or anything. It's just driving them straight to the phone number. Call only would be mobile click to call. Follow the path from one online to somewhere else, three ad extension, four mobile okay. and the wizard to create a tracking number. Then integrate with mobile click to call and select the number you created. Scroll down really quick. I think we'll be able to do it here. Okay. So Google, I think you'll choose on Google mobile extension. Try to save that. And now let's go back to settings. Settings. Now let's try to go to mobile. Click to call. Oh, there you go back up really quick. It was in the yellow. Now let's see if it's about this. Up. Yeah. Okay, activate. Perfect. So now that's properly set up now. Okay, cool. So that should track anyone that clicks on those ads. And then when they click on that ad, they're going to see his phone number. But then on our end, we're going to get like dynamic numbers there. Or yeah. So when they essentially it's going to capture that number and swap into the tracking number that we created. And so that of okay. course when they call, we're able to know this is like where they're calling from. Gotcha. So there will be, there will be automatically generated numbers on your guys end for each person that clicks on these ads. Yes. I'm like, I'm going to make sure I get you the right answer. Um, no worries. I'm going to turn this into a training video after I've learned how to do all this. <laughs> Great. Like, guys, if you need to learn how to <laughs> set up all the Google ads and mobile click the call and integration, listen to this call. 